chapter 7 first part sketch the graph of the curve c with e equation y equals to 4 over x minus k where k is a positive constant show on your sketch the coordinate the coordinates of any points where c cuts the coordinate axis okay number 2 uh, the equation of the vertical asymptote so this question uh, you know is related from the reciprocal function and there is uh, some kind of uh, a horizontal shift here you can see uh, as k is a positive constant so whenever a positive number is subtracting uh, from x value uh, the graph um, moves towards right okay if some positive number is subtracting from x graph moves towards right it is the rule for the horizontal shift if a positive number is added to x value graph moves towards left so this is the rule you have to remember okay in this case uh, let me tell you about uh, the basic graph for uh, a reciprocal function y equals to 1 over x so uh, you know that it goes like this the graph uh, the color here so it is the value of x increases the value of y decreases 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 and it is approaching towards x okay so as x increases here the value of y decreases with the negative values it also uh, it looks like this okay as the x value decreases okay like this so this is the basic graph for this and these two lines the this line uh, this one is horizontal asymptote this graph never crosses the horizontal asymptote uh, horizontal axis okay so this is the horizontal asymptote this uh, vertical line is the vertical asymptote this one okay the graph never crosses these two lines because uh, in our required function uh, y equals to 4 over x minus k and k is a positive value so this the same graph this one will moves uh, this graph will move towards right side okay because k is a positive value okay so how you sketch our graph looks like this now two lines this is x and this is y okay because uh, if you have to find here the vertical asymptote as uh, in the question uh, demands this you have to find vertical asymptote for finding vertical asymptote this denominator should be equals to zero you know that vertical asymptote so for finding vertical asymptote that denominator should be equals to 0x so it will be equals to x equals to k okay if you put here 0 x will be k so this is the vertical asymptote you have to mention this because this is a part of your question okay so as as k is positive so graph moves towards right and k is some positive value so this will be a uh, vertical line will be the asymptote for this k equals to k and the transform graph will be looks like this and uh, the other graph moves towards right as well okay if you notice that this side of the graph crosses the y-axis so there is the y-intercept you have to find that so how to find y-intercept we know that for finding y-intercept you have to put x value equals to zero in the same graph okay if x value equals to zero what will be the value of y it becomes negative 4 over k so this point will be negative 4 over k that's it okay uh, in this part question number seven first part you have you need to find the coordinate of the point where c cuts the coordinate axis so this is the point where it cuts the coordinate axis okay uh, better you mention like this way if you want to have the complete point so you can write like this okay see if you want um, negative 4 over k is also good so this is the required answer uh, for first part okay in the next part given that the straight line with e equation y equals to 9 minus x does not cross or touch c find the range of the values of k so we have now two equations y equals to 4 over x minus k and the other equation is the linear equation that is 9 minus x 
uh, as per question this line is not is not crossing why um the other other uh, other curve okay so, uh, you, there will be no solution for sure okay in this case you have to combine these two equations okay equating these two equations because both are y's okay equating both equations we will make a uh, equation in terms of x and then we will solve for that to find uh, where the value a range of the value of k okay uh, for no real solution there is no real solution for these two lines and uh, these two graphs okay uh if there is no real solution if you remember discriminate discriminate is uh, less than zero in that case so we we'll, we will apply that rule in this question so first of all you need to equate these two equations and solve uh, solve them x minus k equals to n minus x okay uh, you know that uh, this will multiply there and it will be equals to 4 equals to First you multiply by 9 so it will be 9x minus 9k and then you multiply by minus x with this value so it will be minus x square and plus xk that's it so better you bring everything towards left side so sign uh, of the variables will be changed negative x square becomes positive okay and uh, so positive 9 minus 9x and then minus xk and plus 9k and plus 4 is already there equals to 0. Now you can write here uh, there is uh, x common here you can keep it out so x square minus is also common so this will be 9 uh, plus k and x is you could write outside of the bracket okay, there is no change so the last term is a constant number you can write this way okay this is a constant and uh, c and this is the quotient of uh, x that is b and here quotient of x so it is a quadratic equation okay so it, in the question it is given that line is not crossing um the other function okay other line other curve so there is no real solution for no real solution you remember for no real solution we know that uh, discriminant is less than zero and everybody knows discriminant is b squared minus 4ac is less than zero okay we have to use this fact now plug in the values here this is b this one is b okay this one is b and this one is c and coefficient of x squared is a okay now plug in the values uh you can write here b b is with negative okay 9 plus k because it is a square so you can write square here uh parentheses are already, already there therefore i'm using the square brackets here okay so you could use anyway like this you have to write minus 4 a is 1 c is 9k plus 4 is less than c the next thing you have to simplify okay expanding the bracket uh, you know that square and minus will be cancelled out uh, with a square and you expand the bracket just uh, expand the bracket for 9 plus k whole square so 9 square is 81 and the product of these two will be uh, eight, 18 uh, k plus k square okay we will apply the formula here and uh, expand it and negative 4 multiply inside the bracket so it will be minus 36 k and minus 16 is less than 0 okay now a square right as is and solve these two 18k minus 36k is minus 18k and 81 minus 16 uh, is positive 65 is less than zero now, okay as you know that this is inequality therefore uh, you have to find the critical point whenever there is inequality uh, so you have to find the critical points okay for critical values For critical values, uh, you know that uh, this k square minus 18k plus 65 should be equals to 0. And we will factorize to find the value of k. So it will be x minus k minus 5 and minus 13. Okay. Uh, you know that. Uh, so 5 multiplied 13 is 65 and minus 5, 13 and minus 5 is minus 18. So there are two values, critical values for k. 
one is 5 and other is 13. So these are two critical values. But this is not the solution. As you know that uh, this expression, this function is less than 0. And uh, here uh, it is a quadratic and it will be a U-shaped because coefficient of k squared is positive. So it will be U-shaped graph. Sketch the graph, okay, for this function and write the critical values here. One critical value is 5 and another is 13, okay, for k. As you know that uh, this function is less than 0, it, so we have to consider below the x-axis, below the x-axis. So this will be the solution for this thing, okay, the red line. Because uh, here, you know that, here y is, function is equals to 0, okay, and we have to consider the values uh, of y that are below, below the x-axis, okay. So, therefore, the solution will be equals to 5 less than uh, k less than or equals to 13, okay. Not equal because it is not included. So these are okay. here. So 5 and 13 are not included. So this will be the solution for this. And question 5 is done. Okay.